Okay, so in this video, I want to answer a question that some people have asked me, and it's a it's about this new product that's on the market. Now, this is a carpet pad, but as you can see, it's got this moisture barrier. Now, it's being sold as a better pad to have when dealing with pet issues because it keeps the urine from penetrating the pad. I want to show you what that means and actually tell you what my experiences are with it if it really works. Now, I am not an artist, but this is, work with me, this is carpet up here, this is your pad, this is your concrete subfloor. Same thing down here. Now this one is a normal pad, and what will happen if your pet has an accident, I know I have a Martian pet, he's going to pee green because yellow won't show up very well on this board, but if your pet has an accident and pees on the carpet right here, what's gonna happen in a normal situation is it's gonna soak into this pad and expand, because the pad's like a big sponge. So typically, it's gonna be about three times bigger in the pad than on the surface. And if there's enough, if there's a high enough volume, if it's an area where the pet repeats a lot, it's even gonna soak into the subfloor a little bit. Now this can become a problem when trying to take care of the pet odor, because you've gotta get it out of the pad, and if it is in the subfloor, you actually have to treat the subfloor, which means you have to pull the pad. So what the manufacturers decided would be a really good idea that they found a way to stop the urine from getting into the pad and they think this will make the situation better. And I did it first too. I thought, well, that's really cool. It makes a lot of sense. So in this one, what we have is we have the carpet, we have the pad, we have the subfloor in this red line. This is the moisture barrier. But what actually happens is when your pet has an accident, it comes down and hits this moisture barrier and it can't penetrate so it actually spreads out even further. Creates a bigger area of damage because it can't get into the pad where it gets absorbed, kind of like a diaper absorbs and pulls the moisture away from the baby's little booty. Well, the pad does the same thing. It absorbs it and pulls it away from the carpet, but in this case, it doesn't get to the pad, so it just runs along this moisture barrier and it becomes a much bigger area. Now, this is a problem for two reasons. Number one, if I as the cleaner don't know you have this type of pad, I'm gonna treat an area this big. But I need to be treating an area this big if that's where the urine went. So if I don't know what I'm dealing with, and there's no way for me to know unless the customer tells me, I'm not gonna treat enough area to get all the urine out. The other problem is if it's left untreated, as opposed to here where the pad pulls that urine away from the carpet backing into the sponge of the pad, it's gonna pull right in between the moisture barrier and the carpet backing. And if it sits there long enough, it's been shown that the acids in the urine can actually delaminate the latex glue between the primary and secondary backing of your carpet, which creates permanent damage to the actual carpet itself. Now I've gotta tell you, worst case scenario up here, you pull the pad, you sanitize the back of the carpet, you treat the subfloor, you put in new pad, and you reinstall the carpet. That gets a little bit pricey, but it is far cheaper to do that and replace the pad than to have to replace the carpet itself because you destroyed the carpet backing. So for that reason, after some actual use of this in the field, I do not think these pet odor barriers are good options for you because it can actually cost you a lot more money in the long run. Now, if you want some more information, look at the, my resources underneath this video. If you're not at my blog, click the link, go over to my blog, and you can look under this video for some resources. One, about how you can spot pet odors yourself, what you can do to try to fix them yourself, and number two, what we do if they become too big of an issue that you can't deal with them yourself. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.